Taking place in 1950s West Virginia, Ruth White's young adult novel Bell Prater's Boy, 1996, recounts the tale of 12-year-old Gypsy Lee Master and her aunt, Bell Prater, who vanishes mysteriously one morning. When Gypsy's cousin, Woodrow, arrives in town, she befriends him, hoping to uncover more about his mother's disappearance. Woodrow, only 12 at the time of his mother's vanishing, is left with a father who turns to alcohol to cope with the sudden loss. Consequently, Woodrow is sent to live with his maternal grandparents, while Gypsy resides next door with her mother, Love, and her stepfather, Porter Dotson. Until now, the cousins had led separate lives. Gypsy's family enjoys wealth and privilege, while Woodrow has grown up in poverty, belonging to a lower social class. As fate brings them together, Gypsy and Woodrow develop a deep bond. Both children possess sharp wit and express themselves articulately, defying their young age. They also share insecurities about their appearance. Gypsy, despite her beauty, perceives it as a burden that causes others to overlook her true self. Woodrow, on the other hand, struggles with being cross-eyed, a physical trait that often becomes the sole focus of people's attention, overshadowing his personality. Gypsy is dismayed by how the townspeople mistreat Woodrow, subjecting him to cruel jokes, scorn, and mockery regarding his mother's disappearance. Curious about his mother's fate, Gypsy asks Woodrow if he has any insight into what might have happened. He reveals a poem that his mother repeatedly read before vanishing. The poem speaks of an open door zill where two worlds converge and advises that one must earnestly ask for what they truly desire. Drawing from this evidence, Woodrow suggests to Gypsy that he believes his mother is caught between two realms. Gypsy wants to trust her cousin's belief, but remains skeptical, uncertain about the plausibility of such a scenario. Nonetheless, Gypsy can empathize with the pain of losing a parent. When Gypsy was just five years old, her father tragically lost his life. Despite her stepfather's efforts to fill the paternal void, Gypsy struggles to accept him. She often ignores him, harboring resentful thoughts in her mind. Throughout the summer, Gypsy and Woodrow develop a deep friendship, and Gypsy persists in her quest to uncover more about Woodrow's mother's disappearance. Woodrow forms a bond with Blind Benny, a local homeless man who had a connection to Gypsy's late father. Although physically unattractive due to being born without eyes, Benny's inner kindness and compassion shine through. Both Woodrow and Gypsy learn to look past his appearance and appreciate him as a loving individual. The children accompany Benny as he scours the town for discarded items. Benny shares his life story, revealing that he was born blind and orphaned at a young age. Forced to survive as a sin eater, Benny carried the burdens of the deceased upon himself. He lived a lonely existence as an outcast until Amos Lee Master, Gypsy's father, befriended him, offering him liberation from his burdensome role. Amos brought Benny to Cole Station, Virginia, where he could start anew. Gypsy recalls a Sunday school lesson about Jesus potentially appearing in disguise, clothed in rags, or appearing crippled. The lesson taught her to treat everyone kindly, as one never knows the true identity of another person. This lesson deeply resonates with Gypsy. Woodrow decides to write an essay about Benny, highlighting how he is the only person he has met who truly sees beyond outward appearances. Meanwhile, at school, Gypsy opens up to a new teacher about her father's accidental death, only for someone to unexpectedly blurt out that her father had committed suicide. Gypsy is confronted with the painful truth of her past. Memories resurface, and she vividly recalls discovering her father's lifeless, bloody body after he had taken his own life with a gunshot to the head. Overwhelmed by the resurfacing memories, Gypsy is devastated by the realization that her father's disfigurement resulted from his courageous but tragic attempt to save a baby from a burning house. Unable to bear the weight of these emotions, she impulsively cuts off all her hair and succumbs to anger and grief. Gypsy attempts to push Woodrow away, believing that isolating herself is the only way to cope. However, Woodrow refuses to abandon her, assuring Gypsy that he will always be there to support and care for her. In a vulnerable moment, Woodrow discards his pretenses and reveals to Gypsy that deep down, he knows his mother simply chose to walk away from her life and start anew elsewhere. He confesses that he had constructed elaborate fantasies as a defense mechanism, shielding himself from the painful truth. As time passes, Gypsy gradually finds it in her heart to forgive her father and accept her stepfather. 
Woodrow follows her lead, and together, they confront their pasts, embracing them as part of their journey. With newfound strength, they step into adulthood, ready to face the future. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.